Okay, so now we're doing who who's coming towards you. And we are on Virgo. Okay, so I did one video um, today on um, an oracle reading. And then I did... Um, Yeah, I did Aries through Leo. Now we're on Virgo. Virgo. Okay. Okay, so whatever you've been battling, you're coming out of that. Woo! All right. Okay, so there might be some cusping energy here with Leo because I think they got the... Uh, Ace of Swords, too. So some of you might be interested in a Leo, but some of you might be cusping with uh, Leo energy. And it's interesting because all the signs, they had kind of a flowing energy flowing into each one. It wasn't like a separate sign, a separate sign. It's like fl it was flowing. Okay, so it's kind of doing the same thing. Okay, so it was like the Leo was leaving stuff behind and moving into a new energy. And see, and that's the same here, too. All right, so it's like letting go of the struggle and moving into clarity and truth. And this is marriage, too, for some. Okay, and here is the Ten of Cups. Who else got Ten of Cups? I think Cancer got it. Okay. Yeah, I think Cancer got it. Okay, at any rate, okay, let's see what else. Yeah. And, okay, so this came up before. It was like, whoever, you've been through some hard energy, some of you, okay. And whoever is in love with you has been through tough energy. So I feel like it's calling for deep compassion and love here when you come together. And courage, right? Some of you, this is a Leo, okay. Some of you, it's a fire sign, uh, okay. It's like could be any fire sign who's passionate about you and wants victory with you. Okay. And this, for some of you, was taming that beast, right? Whatever that was. Congratulations. Amen. <laughs> victory for you. All right. Yes, that's nice. Okay, so now what I'm picking up here uh, also is uh, some of that Aries energy. So if that is you uh, in boss mode, you're going to have that sun energy, right? Leo got double sun. Okay, so if you're cusping, you'll feel more positive than ever. Okay. And there is that access, right? In any given moment, you can pull that in, that positivity to uh, move in this energy. And then milk it, right? Milk it. Yeah, okay. So, so I feel like fire, water, because you got cups and air is here, so. I feel like... I really feel like the water signs are going to be the feel the most comfortable for you. Okay, so, but, uh, yeah, that's what I'm getting. Okay, so maybe someone who's cusping with Leo and water, right? Because this was out this way. Yeah, someone with fire and water in their charts. Okay. Okay, and then Earth is... Some of you are going to stay solo. You're going to just be looking to the future. That's what I'm getting with that. Okay. Some of you are moving towards... Oh, okay. Some of you are moving towards a water sign who's been through the lot and wants to just let go of the whole past and move into the future. 
That's a water sign for someone. Okay. And, um, and wants victory with you. So you might be trying to catch up with them. Why did I say catch up? Okay, so if you feel like you have to meet them, meet them within you now. That's what I'm picking up. Meet them within you now. Uh, so it's like say hello, right? I love you. And uh, because that non, their non-physical version is, is right there with you. Okay. Woo! Who else got this? Aries. Okay, so that could be anybody, right? Because I'm noticing that all the signs harness different energies, but a lot of people harness Aries energy to move that fire, I feel like. If you're looking at signs, that, that's how you could translate it. Um, but it's like um, to start up any kind of spark, right? Uh, it takes some of that Aries energy, so um, so that could be Aries or any sign really that is harnessing that moving in their power energy. Some of you, uh, it, this this will this is a review of the past. Okay, this is soulmate. Some of you made a, a decision to be meet up with somebody in a certain segment of time. And it's a past life person here. Okay. So, this is something that you would know in your gut. And it won't go away, right? No matter who you're with or where you are, you still... And you can connect with them in an instant, right? You could, you have a thought of them, and that's when you're connecting with that person. And this is the time when that is coming together. The moment is now. Whoo, okay, so what is this? Respond with grace. Okay, so what I'm getting is you might be mad because it took a long time. So you might be mad at them, right? Is that what? Uh, okay, so the key is they've been through a lot too, so have compassion if they show up, right? Be your earthy self and be open to receive them. Ooh, these are like Celtic knots, right? And so there's one for marriage, they said. Ooh, and there's one in the crown. Ooh. Okay. Who else got a card that said it's time? Oh, Taurus got one in a card, and it, they said it was time. So it could be a Scorpio or a Taurus. Okay, for someone. Okay, just want to let you know. That's either a Scorpio or Taurus for some of you. Okay. Now that Taurus that's showing up could be any uh, water energy or earth energy. But that's what's dominantly coming up first. Yeah. Sometime if it's an earth sign, they'll show up as a Taurus energy because they're in their masculine energy. Okay, so I leave you with that, Virgo. Thank you. Libra, who's coming towards you in love? They said go reach in here. Okay. Woo! The sun. Okay. And the light. So that means... Okay, six energy. Okay, so if you've been in five energy, which is kind of like that Orion, lower Orion 
fifth density or dimension. I feel like it was density. I felt it. It felt like heavy for some of you. Okay. All right. But now you're moving into the sixth. This is where you see your future. <clears throat> and you're starting to get a glimpse of the fruits of your labor now. Okay. All right, so this is could be Aries energy. So make sure, moving forward, that you're not using that fire energy for fighting, right? I feel like that's really important here, that you're moving into a comfortable place within your own energy, not having to prove to the world anything, but uh, feeling good in your own energy, right? And by feeling good, that emanates into the world as a sun. Okay, some of you are not going back to the past person, but you would like to at least have uh, harmony with them, okay, if you have children with them, okay. And, okay, so what I'm picking up is, yeah, you did have children with them, and that was a Capricorn I'm picking up. Okay, so... What's interesting is here, some of you traded in a Capricorn for a Taurus. <laughs> so some of you, uh, I feel like, are calling for Earth energy. Okay. All right. So, and the reason why this came flipped is because of what you've been doing with your energy. Okay. Now, this can flip around. This could also mean water sign. This nine of pentacles flipped. It could be a single water sign. Okay. Now, another single water sign. Okay. Now, Whew. okay. Now let's flip this. So that means both of you were probably in your fields, whoever this person was. And you're trying to feel the groundwork for this new relationship. Okay. So what they see is uh, you having to deal with this past situation. Okay. All right. For some of you, that Capricorn went with a younger person and uh, w was going through a happy time with them. They got remarried, probably. That's what it looks like here. Okay. And, but you haven't forgotten that person and you actually still love that person. Okay. And I feel like you're going to have a nice friendship. Later on, if not now, you can have it now, but I feel like later on, uh, there is that uh, coming together energy. So, um, I don't know if that's retirement they're trying to show me, but good times together. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, some of you might uh, just stick with the, the second one. Okay, but that doesn't mean that you're not thinking back to the time when you were young and having good times with that Capricorn person. Okay, all right, where did I put the deck? Oh, here it is. Okay, so let's see what's next. Woo! All right, so whatever all that was back here, you have are going to come into healing energy. So how do you do that? You connect to that pure energy that's within you, right? And as you connect to that pure energy within you, you can see that pureness in every human being. Okay. And then you don't have to manipulate the mirror to feel good, right? You just feel good. So the ending of that cycle in coming out of indecision. Okay, I feel like you know what you want, but some of you put stuff on hold because of work. Okay, now what? Okay, communication is key here. That's where you have problems in the past. So if you want to have success in marriage, there needs to be open communication because what Libra does... Oh... This is, work stuff is coming in here. And, uh, okay, so work can affect your love life, right? So that's important, too. But what I'm getting is frustration at work because uh, you're not communicating well. 
So, you can take classes, you can study things online on how to communicate, you can hire someone, um, there's all kinds of willing teachers, right? Okay, the other thing I'm getting is, if you are a leader and you have translators, and you're trying to come t into agreement with certain contracts, okay, see, and you're coming, trying to come into agreement with certain contracts, what you need to do is hire different people. If, you, if you've had several different people go in and do the contract and you're not getting success, it could be lost in translation. They're showing me in the movie, Lost in Translation. So what you want to do is hire different translators, right? Positive translators. Make sure they're suggesting someone young and someone who has positive energy, okay, and has no bias, neutral energy, okay. That kind of translator will bring in immense success for you, whoever this is. Okay, all right, now, and that has you in your feels, and that's affecting your love life and everything else. Okay, so, in the past, right? All right, so, I feel like this is organized thought. This is pure connection to source, the pure energy that's within you, and then that can bring in success in love. Okay, woo! Okay, so I'm picking up Pisces energy. So you hit the pause button, right? And you are wasting your energy spying on people. That's what this is. Okay, so don't put into the equation what other people think, right? You might want to go and see the Oracle reading. Uh, because that came up. It was a message about uh, what to put into the... Uh, Melting pot of creation, right? Through thought and how you're moving your energy. That's what that was about. Okay. All right. So here now you're, I'm seeing, uh, see double sun here, sunflower, double sun. Okay. And Leo energy. And there's two here. So you want to watch out for that. That could be ego. Okay. So uh, if you're moving in negative Leo energy, uh, that could be, uh, you want to align that energy. Align yourself with source, okay? And then you will get the positive version of this moving into a new reality. Yeah, see? And that's what I'm talking about. If you, whatever you're doing with your energy is what you get in the physical reality, right? So if you're getting, uh, if you're seeing not trusting and this and that and trying to escape from whatever all this is and battles, okay, so what is that calling for? That's calling for alignment, right? And this could pop up in thought, right? You could be aligned and then bam, this pops up. So what you want to do is release that, surrender it to spirit, the pure energy within you, right? Some people call that God. Surrender it and let them work with you and ask, right? Ask them to help you. Because that would flip these good times again, right? And this is what you're looking forward to is the celebrations. For some of you, this is the marriage. Now, some of you, this is the Uranus energy, if you even question yourself, why am I doing this, right? Why am I fighting? Why am I doing this? Okay. That could be because of the Uranus energy helping you to reach for something other than your old mind, old framework. And for some of you, this is feeling like entitlement to whatever was in the past. Okay. So... I feel like it's calling for you to release that past 
so that you can move in positivity in the now, in the future, in the now, in the future. Yes, and that would release the resistance and have you moving in the, being able to offer the cup of love, right? Because I feel like you haven't been able to because there is not letting go of that resistance. But here you have a knight and a queen here. So I feel like that's the key. Stop hiding so much and move in open, nice dialogue, openness, communication, interaction, getting a handle on your, on your emotions. I feel like, like you're, this is you graduating from the, from, uh, I don't know if graduating is a word, harmony with masculine and feminine in your energy. For some of you, this is a water sign who is nice and balanced, and that's why you really love them. Could be an earth sign. But I feel like you put yourself out in the cold by your negative thoughts. Okay? So you want to release that. Move in the sun energy, right? The, this is where the healing is, connecting to that source energy. Through breath. Through silence. Through connecting with nature. Okay. And the cup of love is... For some, they've been offering it and offering and offering it. So depending on, uh, so what I feel like it's calling for here is watch out for this energy. This is you, I feel like. And it's like, make sure you take your cup of love wherever you go. That's important here. Okay. I feel like that's what spirit is calling for you to do here. Yeah, and then that'll help you from, uh, that'll help you step into a new cycle, a new love relationship, feeling balanced, poised, and ready, fiery, passionate, but a healthy fire, right? Um, and, yeah, and feeling like you can have a new beginning. So here is lifting the veil, questioning everything, anything unaligned must go. Wow, that's interesting how that happened because they said, pull that card. It was sticking out. I was like, okay. Woo! Okay. Peace begins with me. Lifting the veil. Questioning everything and anything unaligned must go. Okay. Now, this is not trying to align the mirror, right? This is not trying to control the outside world. This is managing your own emotional scale, your own energy. And by lifting the veil to yourself, being aware and conscious, uh, then that can bring you light. Here's the sun, opening up to the sun. And then here's peace. I leave you with that. Ooh, that's beautiful because that energy attracts that. Okay. Gonna start a new video.